I've been coming to Haiti consistently since 2012. I would say that between 2012 and 2016, I take about two to five trips a year to Port-au-Prince. Um, and in my time, I've always seen advances. Uh, other people might not say so because the structure is not so great. There are still a lot of damage from the earthquake and also a moment in time when the government was hoping to rebuild Haiti and break down some of the old buildings and homes um, in order to reconstruct new ones. But I see improvement and a lot of the times it's coming from people, it's coming from the people who are in Haiti who are trying to organize amidst whatever traumas that they're facing. And every time I go, my goal is to absorb. It's to take in information, to take in what really is meant by community and how is that played out for youth. Particularly, my focus is on a community of youth that lives in Rue Magasin d'État, which is in Paul Prince. And those kids live like a family whether they're related to each other or not they work together they joke together they dance together they laugh together and when i'm there i do my best to be a part of that community as well despite my being from america despite my having a very haitian american experience i try my best to also live like them and do what they do because i know that their experience is not so far away from mine. I know that as a black woman of Haitian descent, what I have faced, the obstacles that I have faced, feed into who I am today, and that's the same for those youth. Ultimately, the result is that what I learn every single time that I go to Haiti, what I learn from talking to those kids, what I learn from spending my days living with them, eating with them, and basically doing everything with them is what feeds into my art. It's what feeds into my dance. It's what informs my work. It's what centers my work in community and in the needs of the community that I identify with. Ultimately, it is what keeps the work whole. It's what keeps the work real. It's what keeps the work relatable. It's what keeps the work talking 100% about survival strategy.